Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 1999 Cadillac DeVille. Uh, this is, uh, I love this generation of Cadillac. Uh, this has the North Star 300 horsepower engine in it. Uh, you know, they get like, you know, mid twenties <laughs> miles per gallon, which is really amazing. And uh, they're just kind of one of the last big luxury, you know, comfort cruisers and uh, just love that. This one here is a three owner car with only 69,000 miles on it. And uh, it is in, in excellent condition, uh, shows no accidents on Carfax. This car spent most of its life uh, in, uh, El, in El Paso, Texas. So rust free Southern car and uh, just in beautiful, beautiful overall condition. So let's go ahead and zoom in on it and we'll show you any flaws or imperfections. All right, let's come here to the front of the car. All right, looking, glancing here, looks like we got a little, little paint chip there. Zoom back, the lights are excellent condition. A couple little minor rock chips along the front of the hood. Uh, we'll kind of pan across the front bumper here. Bumper looks really, really nice. I mean, overall, this car is in excellent condition. There are gonna be some flaws, because I mean, it's a 1999, but it is really, really nice. Lights are in good condition. The grill is in great condition. I don't see any flaws on the grill. A few little water spots. Right. And the paint is excellent. There's a little chip on the hood right there, but panning back. Other than some light scratching, you know, if you took and did a paint correction on this car and some touch up, it would be a million bucks. Uh, just nice. Fender looks fantastic. Even the wheels, the finish on the wheels, I mean, we don't have any corrosion on the wheels. Wow, they're just beautiful. We did put brand new tires on it. A really nice high quality touring tire. So tires are brand new. Looking down the side of the car, there's literally no door dings. Unbelievable, how's that possible? Um, the moldings do show some, uh, it's kind of like a stainless look but the moldings do have some imperfections in it because they're actually plastic, I believe. So there are some dings, you know, maybe that's where, so maybe that's what uh, really protected the car over all those years. Little rub mark, here's some little paint right there, but that'll actually buff off. A little scuff on top of it, but doors are absolutely fantastic. And even the mirror, Shows a little bit of road grime on it, but it will buff up and look really nice. Little paint chip right there. Looking across the roof, uh, excellent condition. No hail on this car. Um, that's why I'm really happy to find this car because you cannot find these cars in this condition. They're 200,000 miles, just beat to death. Um, and I think the silver looks fantastic on this car. Again, I can't believe that I'm not calling out flaws on the wheels. I mean, I'm not saying they're perfect, but <laughs> there are no apparent flaws on the wheels. Unbelievable. Again, brand new tires. This car rides super duper nice. Moldings, again, you got that across the whole car, that little, just, I don't know, just whatever the elements do to that molding there. If you wanna make this car perfect, I, I bet you can probably not find those moldings. So it's probably something I have to just live with. Looking across the deck lid here, a little scratch right there, but that will buff out. A little chip in the paint right there that would need a touch up. But other than that, that deck lid is fantastic. I love the look of these, I love the long slit lights. I mean, it throws back to the Cadillacs of the, uh, the late 50s, early 60s. And I really, really love the look. This, I remember when these cars come out, you know, I have always had an affinity for this car. Never had one this nice. A couple little chips on the rear bumper. Again, very, very minor. Looking across the back here. Lights, the, the bumpers, the plastics. Fantastic. That little paint chip there will buff out. So with a little recon, this car could be brought up to about 95% or better. 98%. I mean, <laughs> it is really gorgeous. 
looking down the side, I mean, there is literally nothing. I see one tiny, tiny, tiny ding. You can see it in that paint stripe. I mean, it's, I'm talking, you can't even see it. But I'm being super picky. There, you can kind of see it a little bit. Looking here at the rear wheel, again, fantastic condition. Got one little scratch on this one, right there. Looking down the side, again, a couple of little paint rubs, which we'll buff out. A little paint chip right there. Again, <laughs> whoever had, there's, they must have owned a red car too or something, because every paint mark on here is red. <laughs> kind of funny, but they'll all buff off because it's just on top of the surface. Boy, I just cannot believe how little there is to call out on this car. Again, when you do paint correction, these mirrors are gonna really clean up. You know, they got some bug etching in there. So some of that stuff's not gonna be perfect, but very, very nice. And the front wheel. Wow. It's always fun when I do these videos because I look at the car, but I don't, there's a little scratch on the bumper right there. It's probably gonna need touch up. Yeah, my fingernail catches that, so need a little touch up there. But you know, you see these cars, you know, and when you first look at them, you know, and sometimes you're looking at them, and you know, you don't have a whole lot of time because you're looking at multiple cars. And uh, look at the windshield real quick while I'm, t while I'm talking to you. I don't see, don't see anything on the windshield. Just some light scratching, a couple little nicks, but windshield is good. What I was gonna say is, you know, you get these cars and you're looking at them and I love when I do, when I wash them and do my videos cause then you really get to know the car and you know, usually there's ways you find a whole lot more than what you initially thought. But with this one, it's kind of the opposite. I'm looking at this car, I'm going, I can't believe how little I'm finding on this car. So check out the interior door panel. Absolutely beautiful seats. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my phone light on here. There, we got the light on here so we can see a little bit better. Okay, the seats are in excellent, excellent condition. The leather, little teeny bit of color wear right there. But, I mean, almost flawless condition on the seats. And they're still soft too, still feel nice. Carpets are pretty much immaculate. Even the steering wheel is not showing anywhere on the steering wheel. Headliner, I like I like the no sunroof cars, personally. Uh, especially on these older cars, but headliner's perfect. Visors are perfect. But they're talking about the headliner is, uh, or the sunroof is, you know, they always leak. Um, they uh, end up, they cause more wind noise, you know, and just all that stuff. So I really, I didn't, you know, it's like you hardly ever use the sunroof anyway, but so let's go ahead and jump in and fire this car up. All right, no lights on this car, no warning lights, no issues whatsoever. We've got 69,836 miles. Climate control works nice. Original radio. Curious allergic reactions may occur. And flying may increase your. Yeah, oh, Margaritaville. That's kind of appropriate. Just you just kind of have that uh, laid back vibe in this car. All right, so the dash does have a little bit of warping right there. You can kind of see right here, just a little warp up. You know, that could probably be glued back down. But the grill is loose and there's a little bit of warp on the dash. Um, but still, all things considered, that's pretty darn good. I'll go ahead and do the passenger side of the car while I'm in here. Passenger seat, pretty much flawless. Bolster, excellent. Door panel, excellent. Glove box. And again, the carpets, you know, all the way. Carpets are absolutely fantastic got a little cup holder here uh, look at the, even the armrest i mean these always you know you get the salt from your arms and these always just get cracked up and i mean it's just the nature of the beast but this one is unbelievable flip out cup holder still works <laughs> uh, man 
this is this needs to be my new driver. Let's jump out of here. Can you hear it running? No smoke. It runs perfect. I guess we'll go ahead and pop the hood here. We don't have to have any specific sequence here. But while it's running, let's just go ahead and pop the hood. Wow, this thing looks mint under the hood. We did not uh, detail this car. Yeah, I, we detailed the car, don't get me wrong, we got by the side, but I'm saying, I, you know, this engine bay, I guess, is what I'm saying. This is how, this is how she came in. Even the hood pad's really, really good. 300 horsepower. Oh, here's some uh, little maintenance stickers here. You can just tell this car was very well. If you know, it's interesting because it says three owners. I bet you this is a one owner, two owner car. Carfax is notorious about when an owner does registration changes or anything like that. A lot of times it'll act like it's a new owner. And so there's a lot of errors on numbers of owners. A lot of times if somebody moves and they register in another state, a lot of times it trips it as a new owner. But just looking at this car, And then it spent almost all its time in the same place, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually a one or two owner car. Carpets are perfect. Vents, armrest, and cup holder once again. Functional. There we go. Put that up and down. The seats, interior. It's just immaculate. There was one little spot here uh, on this door panel, um, pulling away a little bit. If you pulled this all out and you could re-glue that and uh, you could repair that very, very easily. Let's pop the trunk. See if there's any body bodies in here. <laughs> okay, wow. Check it out. Here's all the floor mats. I didn't even, I forgot those are back here. Factory floor mats, perfect condition. Trunk is in excellent condition. All right. Oh, got the power closure. Working just like it's supposed to. All right, well, let's jump in this beautiful Cadillac and let's take it for a spin and see how it drives. All right, we're buckled into the Caddy. Let's roll down the road here and see how it drives. I got my, uh, I kind of like my hat, the glasses. <laughs> I feel like I, uh, I feel like I should retire to South Florida. <laughs> I was kind of like, you know, I love to kind of play around and, and try to dress the part of the car. So this is my uh, best Cadillac dressing impression. <laughs> Gotta love the hat. The hat actually came from Florida. So I figured it probably is a good, a good choice for this car so smooth so quiet in here and just love this car so this is like a really super bumpy alley right here um not you know there's no rattles to the suspension uh or, or the body for that matter the car just drives beautiful brakes are good like i said climate control everything works that way steering um you know, I mean, it's kind of hard to believe on a Cadillac of this vintage that there's not more issues with it, but it really is a uh, an exceptional car, it really is. If you've ever looked for any of these caddies, or if, you, if you've seen them as much as I do, coming through the auctions and so on and so forth, you'll know that it's a, they're usually in pretty sad state. So, touch the throttle here. Whoa! <laughs> Man, that thing's got some get up and go. It's like 300 horsepower and I think 295 foot pounds of torque. So it definitely has got motivation. But the incredible thing about it is it really you're gonna get low to mid 20s too, depending on how you drive it. But such a great driving car. It's so comfortable and I just love, you know, this is, it's 
it's not a uh, sports sedan. It is definitely set up for comfort. Got our power seats over here, kind of kicked back a little bit. All right, <laughs> very nice. Get a little of that, that, that lean going on there. If I was gonna take a road trip across the country, this might be my car of choice. Here we go. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's not a sports car, so you don't really think about, you know, showing you acceleration on it, but this car is kind of fun, though, because, I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a big, big cruiser, but it absolutely uh, has no trouble of getting up and going, too. But, yeah, so the suspension's good. The front end, um, you know, the suspension feels a little soft, uh, Little, little bouncy they're definitely still serviceable but the front struts i would probably say that they're a little weak but not you know you hit a bump you don't get an oscillation or anything like that just a little bit of extra bob so not sure how you know but i mean again it's they're not new so um but that's really about the only thing i can really fault on the car as far as from a driving standpoint so well, hey, I tell you, I appreciate you riding along. I hope you enjoyed this Cadillac today. Um, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, look us up on Facebook, EuroAsian Auto, EuroAsianAuto.com. Uh, check out all of our inventory. Uh, phone number is 800-741-8136. And uh, like I said, like and subscribe because um, you never know, you know, when we get new cars in and when you uh, hit that notification button and then you'll be notified uh, you know, as soon as we upload a video, because we don't have a certain schedule or anything, it's pretty random. So, but uh, uh, you know, as always, have a great day and happy motoring.